you guys what is up I'm here at the salon on a Sunday because I'm trying to get this video for you guys up today actually so <clears throat> I wanted to talk about uh, I wanted to talk about my uh, Kiara Sky acrylic brush that I got so this is what it looks like out of the box doesn't that look pretty look at the details on it you guys Oh my god, it's so amazing. And look at the brush, you guys. It's very thick, too. Um, it doesn't look thick right now because I did have my girl crimp it. I don't know if you guys can see that. The way it's crimped right there. This is a size 18. I've always used an 18. When I first started doing acrylics, I, was, uh, I used a size 14. And then I worked my way up and then now I just I can't even use like any other brush like I would even go like 20 or 22 if I wanted to but um, the 18 I'm very comfortable with this brush it's pretty nice I I really love it I, there's no issues about it so far now the brush that I used to use before is uh, is this brush it's also 100% um Kalonsky as well this one I've used it a couple times I um the bristle is very it's very durable and it doesn't shut off like most brushes do this one it's a size 18 I believe but I didn't want to use it anymore because I wanted to try out the new Kiara Sky so I gave this to my brother yeah, so far there's no complaint. So when I first got this brush, I um, obviously I had my girl crimp it for me because I like it more of a flat surface um, and squared out. I don't really like like the rounded pointiness, um, how it how it would come naturally. You know, uh, I don't like the way the point is. Um, I don't. I can't pick up. Um, I can't pick up like the uh, the bead as much as if it was flat. So uh, because I like to do, some people like to do when they do acrylic, they like to pick up like one, two, three bead. Um, I like to just pick one big bead and then just uh, place it over the um, the nail tip because I feel like that's a lot easier. And plus, I'm I'm a fast worker too, so I don't like to do. You know pick up one small bead put it on pick up another bead put it on pick up another one put it on so i like to just do one whole thing and call it a day <laughs> when i first got it i don't know if it was because the way she crimped it or the way she cleaned it um because when i first used it it was very it was very stringy every time i would pick up the acrylic like it would leave like this weird um like it felt like it was like cotton getting stuck to it or something. So I didn't know if it was because of how she cleaned it or something. Or usually when you first get a brush, it has like um like this powder residue to it. And you would have to like flick it off as much as you can and then clean it. Um, but I don't know if she actually did that or not. But now there's no problems with it. I really love it because um, as you can see, it's very... Is very very flat at the top I don't know if you guys can see it there we go it's very flat at the top right there so it's easier for me to get inside of the um, the cuticle area or like on the the side walls you know what I mean so it's easier for me to clean up around there and everything this uh, I'm telling you guys there's no complaint about this this brush at all do I recommend for um, beginners yes I really do recommend for beginners I also recommend for pros as well this brush is so amazing I like I said there's no complaints to it and it just looks so pretty you guys I am in love with this this is like the best brush that I've ever used I've been doing this for 11 years now and I've never come came across any brush like this one so far so it's very good but yeah Anyways, moving on. So, as you can tell from the thumbnail and the title, I also got another Kiara Sky machine. 
my first one that I got, it's in white. It looks just like this. And I've been using it for almost a year now. And I had no problems with it. The battery life is amazing. As busy as I am, it would last me for like a whole week. Sometimes a week and a half. Recently, just a couple days ago, I was working on a client and I was cutting her nails down. And I went all the way up to 35 and I was cutting her nails down. And all of a sudden, the machine just stopped working. So I tried to mess around with it. I figured it wasn't the, the actual battery part of the machine. I figured it was the, um, the hand drill itself. So I was trying to mess around with it, see if it would work, and it's not working. So I'm a little bit disappointed that um, it gave out on me so fast. So here I am with another one because I've never had any problems with it. I've never, um, the machine is very great. It's it is a little bit expensive. Um, I did do like an unboxing video of it. If you guys want to check that out, I will put it up here and link it down below for you guys. I got it for $2.90. Now on the Kiara website, I believe it was for $3.50. I'm not too sure. When I first got the, the machine, the white one, I believe it was like over $300. But now it went down and it's $2.90. I was going to get the uh, the Manny Pro, which I've used before. That one, when I first got it, it was like $500. Now I think it jumped down to like $300. Um, but anyways, we're not talking about the Manny Pro. We're talking about the Kiara Sky one. And I really love the Kiara Sky drill machine. This is like the best drill machine that I've used before. I was using Manny Cool um, drill machine. Uh, I've used probably, I, I bought like at least like three of them within the 11 years that I've worked. They always give out on me within like a couple months. I had the Manny Pro. I used that for about three years and then it gave out on me only because I dropped my, um, my drill head. I dropped it on the floor so it stopped working and I didn't want to get another drill head because the drill head pretty much cost the same as getting a new a new drill machine, you know what I mean? So I came across the Kiara Sky one and I did drop the drill head a couple of times but it still worked. But I think because I dropped it a couple of times, it the last time it just like gave out on me. So I'm trying so hard not to, um, not to mess or like drop my machine um I, i'm very clumsy so it it does you know i i'm you know i can't fully blame the client you know because i was like that day when i cut her nails down i was like oh my god you broke my machine blah blah but i can't really blame it on her you know it was all my fault because i did drop it a few times way before um i i did her nails so it you know, it, it, like I said, it was my fault. I'm very clumsy, so. I do recommend this to beginners. I also recommend this to pros. You know, this is a really good machine. I really love Kiara Sky. I pretty much have everything of Kiara Sky. I have their machine, their brush now. I have their um, LED lamp. Their LED lamp is like the best LED gel lamp that I've ever used. I really love them. I want to get, I have the old one, but I want to get the volume two because I heard the volume two is really nice as well. And it's even more powerful, you know, to dry the gel. Uh, my brother actually has the volume two. Uh, I'm a little bit jealous about that, but I will probably get it one of these days because the machine is pretty expensive. It's a lot more than the drill machine. So, um, I'm gonna save up for that. So this machine, it's called the Beyond Pro Portable Nail Drill. It's powerful, rechargeable, and cordless. Kiara Sky's Beyond Pro Portable Nail Drill is a profession is a professional e-file system featuring a lightweight, battery-powered, and acetone-resistant body, which is very true. Um, it's smooth and quiet design, along with a 10-hour battery life. Um, the 10-hour battery life. That is very true. It lasts way longer than that. Like as busy as I am, I'm very busy like every single day and the battery life, you guys, it lasts me a whole week. 
make this piece a must have for professional nail technicians. Take your nail game beyond pro with Kiara Sky's innovative collection of nail electronics. And let's see, the speed, it says 35K RPM. Um, battery life, 10 hours at full speed. Charging time, about two hours. So it comes with the um, package includes one e-file handpiece uh, drill and motor, one table stand, one sand bit, one fine drill bit, um, the owner's manual, and a warranty card as well too. When this says that it's acetone resistant, it really is. I dropped acetone, um, I poured, not, I wouldn't say pour acetone, but I, I got um, nail polish on my old machine before and I tried cleaning it off. And usually like with the, the acetone, you know, acetone is very strong and it kind of messes up um, anything, any surface. And when I wiped it off from the Kerasky um, drill machine, my old one, I there was no like sticky residue. It didn't like clump up or anything. It it remained smooth. The body remained very smooth. Um, I'm gonna show you guys really quick. So this is what my old one looks like. I it's very dirty. I've used it so many times. I haven't cleaned it yet. But when I wiped it around here, you know, it usually um, the old LED um, gel machine that I have right now, uh, when I wiped it with acetone, it just clumped up so bad and I didn't really like it. And then when I wiped it on the machine, this one, it was very, uh, it still remained shiny. There was like no sticky feeling or it didn't like mess up the, um, the clear coating for um, the machine. So, um, let me actually show you what I'm talking about. So don't mind it, it's very dirty. So this is what the machine looks like. The um, portable, uh, I mean the rechargeable LED lamp. This is the old version. So don't mind all that mess. But do you guys see what I'm talking about? I try to wipe it with acetone and then it used to have numbers on here. Um, I think it's 30, 60, 90. Um, and it wiped everything off and um, this part right here is where the timer is and that one it got really blurry and everything it, it's very just um it's not very acetone resistant but the second um, version the volume 2 I heard it's very acetone resistant which I'm happy that Kiara Sky did that because the first one you know, I it didn't say that it was acetone resistant, so it was my fault when I started wiping it and everything just got very dirty, you know? Like, do you guys see like this part right here? You know, that's like from acetone, me wiping it, trying to clean the machine off and everything. And, um, yeah, it's, it's very, it's very old and it's time for a new one. Look at all of the gel polish you guys from all of my clients like you see how much how badly they hit back there <laughs> but yeah other than that um i really love this gel uh i mean the drill machine the drill machine is very i i just really love it you guys i i don't even know what else to say about the drill machine it's just so amazing i've been using it since when did i get it i think i got it like the very beginning um of like quarantine time last year i believe it was like april oh, a year a year from from this month actually i i got it and i had no problems with it the only thing like i said if you do drop the drill head um you're gonna come across some problems so uh, but besides that, it's a very amazing drill machine. I'm telling you guys, um, if you want to get it, you guys can. I got it in blue because I really love the blue color, like this type of blue. I really love it. And yeah, so anyways, you guys, that's all I wanted to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all the support that you guys have been giving me. I really appreciate it so much. 
and uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, uh, hit those notification bell, and then subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. So I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!